Nothing makes me feel more magical than glitter on my eyes. Nothing makes me feel more whimsical than glitter on my eyes. It also makes me feel messy because this shit is hard to get off. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. I've tried glitters aplenty. I've threw away glitters of plenty until one day, a few weeks ago, I just decided to give ColourPop's pressed glitters a try. The clouds parted, the sun shone, and God smiled down on me that day. He sure did. So I went on ColourPop's website. This is not sponsored. ColourPop doesn't know who I am, but they are more than welcome to contact me because I am hella obsessed with these motherfucking glitters. So I ordered three of their pressed glitters. They're $5 each. I was like, mm, I'm gonna try three of them. Now, if you've used pressed glitters in the past and you're like me, then you'll know that nine out of 10 times when you use a pressed glitter, it looks beautiful on your finger. It might even look beautiful swatched, but once you start fucking around and putting it on your eyes, all hell breaks loose, you give up, and you decide just to wipe everything off. Put your glitter away, you don't use it again for another few months until you decide to try again, and it all happens the same way. Well, this is where ColourPop comes in. The three that I had, I decided after I used them, well, I must have more. So I went on the set website, and I was like, oh God, there's so many and $5 a piece, like there's a lot of them, but I need them all. Well, I didn't buy them all, but I bought, I bought 12 of them because guess what? They're having this thing where it's like, if you buy them in a bundle, 12 of them plus an empty palette, it's $20. What? And then I was like, they've got to be like a really tiny size. Nope, they're normal size pans for $20. I said, sign me the fuck up. Now, my only thing is that it still sucks to get them off. I mean, they're glitter and you have to be careful, but I don't care because they look so incredible and go on so well and stay so well. I don't care. I don't care if I'm picking them off my face for the next five weeks. These are fantastic. Here we go. Now I have found the best way to apply them is by tapping, not swiping, more so like tapping. It just presses them down enough. And while they're still left on your finger, they're still being deposited, which is the problem that I've found with other pressed glitters. When I push them down, they're just getting pressed, they're just getting picked up again. So it's like they would never adhere to my lids or anywhere, even if I put down glitter glue or some kind of concealer base, it just never worked. So you know how many pressed glitters I've tried and thrown away because they just sucked? A ton. These, oh no, 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 no. These rock my world. And then when we're all done, and I show you all my swatches and everything of all of them, then we're gonna go back and we're gonna pick some to put on my eyes. All right, so from top to bottom, we've got Indio Renegade Overpacked. And this pink one is Freebird. Now these are just kind of the run-of-the-mill regular glitters, except for Renegade. Renegade has a, they're like, Renegade has a bunch of different sized glitters, so the effect is slightly different, but it's not something you can kind of see unless you look really close. All right, so let me get these off my hand. So the top here, we have Boombaya, I think it says, Boombaya. The second green one here is Fire. This lavender shade is Castaway. And this gold shade down here is Palooza, which if you're old like me, reminds me of Lollapalooza. All right, and the final four are probably my favorite. They're like the chunkiest looking and I'll kind of show you what I mean, I'll hold one up. This is called Get Lost. I don't know if you can actually see, but I'll show, I'll, I'll pick up the whole like palette for you so you can see them all up close. But it has like larger kind of chunks of glitter and you'll see what I mean when I actually show you. All right, so the top one here is the one I just showed you, Get Lost. The second one is Island Hopping. The third one is Hungry Ghost, which is insane. And Light Show is the last one. Island Hopping is probably my favorite out of all of them. It's also one that I ordered like originally and that I've had for kind of the longest, but I'm gonna pick up the palette and I'll show you all of them so you can see them in all their glory. 
so gorgeous. So I think actually what I'm gonna put on my lid is, I'm gonna do one side this shade, which is Hungry Ghost, and then I think I'm gonna do this orange shade right here, which is Boombaya because why the hell not? And I'll show you how they go on and everything. I don't use a glitter glue, I don't think you need them. I think you can use one, but I, I don't because I don't, I just don't, you don't need it. All right, so the first one I'm gonna do is Hungry Ghost on this side. Like, look how easily, I've never had a glitter just go on easily, never. It's always like, oh, there's like a splattering of it and half of it like comes off of my fucking fingers. Not this, nope. Not at ColourPop's house. Like stop. That literally took me five seconds. <sighs> and now let's do, oh, I'm so tempted to do. All right, let's do the orange one because the orange one just looks so much fun. I mean, I'm gonna be using all of them in the next few weeks. So you'll, I'll definitely let you know when I try more on, but oh, oh my God. Now in the light, because I have a huge ring light in my face, these do look kind of similar because they both have an orange reflect, but the orange re reflect is much more apparent on this side and also has green and this side has more orange yellow and then like a silver undertone but and then like there's some pink over here oh my god i'm fucking dying let me let me let me layer them i'm gonna i'm gonna go in with this like bronzy shade on top renegade i'm gonna put that on top of this because let's see let's see how that works let's put it to the test oh god they layer they layer we can layer this Look, look, look. All right, let's do more on this side. <laughs> okay, let's do, okay, let's do this one. Let's do light show, kind of more on this side. Oh my God, this is so much fun. This might be the funnest video I've ever done. <gasps> oh my God, I feel like Snow Queen. <sighs> now, to be fair, because of the ring light, it doesn't look incredibly different on camera right now, I'm sure. But in real life, all these swatches look incredibly different. <laughs> so don't be alarmed. But oh my God, <laughs> I'm so beautiful. <laughs> I don't care if in an hour there's glitter all over my face. I don't care. I just can't stop looking. I wanna put it everywhere. Where else can I put it? No, I gotta save it because that's the other thing about these. I'm gonna zoom you out real quick. Okay, the other thing about these, these are very soft. So like, don't gouge your finger in. Like, you just need to tap the top and that's all you need to like tap everything on. Can't waste it. That's all you need to do and just start tapping things on and then you're good. Please let me know if you've tried these for yourself. What's your favorite color? Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Oh, and two more things that I got. I just got two other things with this haul. I got one of their new like neon liners because this is for your eyes, super excited. And this is in the shade Oonts. Oonts. Sure, I'm saying that wrong, but it's okay. And I got a lip, lippy stick, but this looks very small. This isn't a normal size lippy stick. Is it? Oh, it is. Hmm. Oh, I thought it was small. But this is the shade Day Trip, and it's matte, and it's magical. It's just been a magical whole day. Hmm. Make sure you let me know if you've had any fun glitter findings lately. I would love to know. And leave me any of your thoughts and comments in the box below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.